All right, I'm back with a brand new channel. Got myself a Japanese 3DS along with Petite Computer 3D so I can bring you tons of tutorials before you'll even need them. Uh, before you do anything, download the PDF manual uh, with the explanation of all the commands from the description. Uh, a guy on the PTC wiki named Lumage was kind enough to translate it for us, so you can stop by there and thank him. Okay, let's load system slash ex1 text, enter run, and get started. See, the X screen, that sets the screen mode. The manual tells us that zero is the default. The 3DS light is on, so 3D is allowed, and if you toggle your 3D switch on and off, you can uh, kind of tell that the text is slightly 3D. Visible controls what is allowed on the screen, specifically console text, uh, graphics like lines, background, and sprites. Uh, as you can see from the code, all of the parameters are set to 1, indicating that all of these things are allowed on the screen. Let's say you wanted to not allow sprites to be displayed. You would change the last parameter to 0. Uh, CLS, that clears the screen of any console text that uh, might have been on the screen prior to running the program. Color sets the color of the text that is displayed from the print command. There are 15 colors in this command, and uh, the number 15 happens to be the color white. Okay, uh, now that we've set our color, it's time to lay out some text. You do this by using the uh, aforementioned print command, followed by quotations that contain what text you're putting on the screen. That, that easy enough? Let's see, on line 16, uh, you can see that we can use the print and color command on the same line by separating them with the colon. Skipping down to line 23, you see a word followed by the equals sign with a number at the end. The word is called a variable. By putting an equal sign and a number, you are declaring this variable. Specifically, you are saying that apple is the same thing as the number 56, or you have 56 apples, however you want to look at it. Uh, same thing goes for oranges on the next line. Moving on to line 27, you have the locate command. You can use this to specify the X and Y coordinates of all your console text. Uh, not just that, now in PTC 3D, they added a Z parameter for the 3D depth of the console text. So now those uh, text-based games could just really jump out right at you. Okay. On line 28, we have the familiar print command, but this time we bring up the apples variable by surrounding it in semicolons. So uh, what we have is some text printed on the screen followed by the variable apples. When you run this program, the variable apples will appear as the number 56. Now, why wouldn't you just print the number 56? This way you can changing it, you, you could change the number without changing the code. On line 34, we define the variable total as apples plus oranges. That means when we print the total, it will give us the result of 56 plus 123. Let's say you want to print a symbol uh, a huge number of times without typing it out, you know, over and over again. On, uh, on line 39, we multiply the underscore symbol by 50 to make a line across the screen. And on line 42 to 44, we have what is called a while loop. It reads, while button 16 is not pressed, wait and sync. Now, uh, let me break that down for you. I call this a loop because while whatever condition that is contained in the brackets is met, it will run the code that is between the while command and the wn command. Uh, and that's, you know, while end. In this case, it happens to be vsync. You know, vsync is in the body. Uh, vsync pretty much syncs the visuals on the screen, you know, in a frame set. So that number is like the number of frames. Without vsync, you often get like flashy text and causes loops to just run way too fast. You always want to put at least a little bit of vsync or a wait command to keep your loop from 
running real fast sometimes. Now for the button command. I'm sure you can imagine why this is important to learn. Uh, if you look in the manual, you can see that there are numbers assigned to different buttons, and 16 happens to be button A. The uh, not equals to sign, that's the uh, exclamation point, and the equal sign is what we call a relational operator. I'll discuss that in more detail later, but what you need to know now is that the double equal sign it means equal, and the uh, uh, exclamation point equal sign means not equal to. When declaring a variable, you only need one equal sign, but when you're checking if something equals something, you, you use two equal signs. See? Uh, in my last tutorial series for Petite Computer, like Mark II, I got a lot of flack for making beginner videos just way too easy. So I'm trying to just make brief explanations of the sample programs followed by more elaborate videos explaining the commands. Well, I hope that explanation helped, and I guess I'll find out in the spring when uh, PTC 3D comes out in America.